Good morning. It's November month. It's Monday, November 1st, 2021. Our morning meeting for this week. It's November. What? Giovanni, what's your favorite thing about November? Well, my favorite thing about November is Thanksgiving because of the food. What about you, Denario? Same. I just like hanging out with my family on Thanksgiving. How was your Halloween? It was good. I went to a haunted house. What about you? I went trick-or-treating and dressed up as Deadpool. Interesting. Dia de los Muertos. Did you know that in many countries, the day after Halloween is a holiday called Dia de los Muertos? That means Day of the Dead. Whoa, scary. Not really, Denario. It's a pretty cool holiday. Let's learn more about it. Let's learn more. Happy Dia de los Muertos, everybody. And where in the world is Giovanni special? By Giovanni Horan. What is Dia de los Muertos? Day of the Dead. Dia de los Muertos is a Mexican holiday celebrated every November 1st and 2nd. It was originally from Mexico, but as time went on, its customs have spread across America. Dia de los Muertos is a celebration of life and death for all who has passed in honor of their lost friends, family, or pets. How was it created? It was created a long time ago when the Spaniards came to Mexico to introduce Catholicism to the local people. They wanted to mix their traditions and beliefs into their own customs. What do, what do families do on this day and what does it look like? They spend the day honoring their memories of their past loved ones by eating their favorite foods and doing fun things they like to do. What are their traditions? People who celebrate this holiday do some special traditions for their ancestors, like displaying sugar skulls, photos of the dead, and cherished objects that once belonged to them. What is an altar? The altar is the way to display everything to remember them, and it usually has pictures of them, flowers, and decorations. Why do, why do people dress as skeletons on this holiday? They dress as skeletons for fun and to show that they're not scary. How do they end the Day of the Dead? They end the special holiday by setting up the altars, putting, their, putting the sugar skulls in place, and doing the last celebrations to honor their lost, forever gone ones. Mm. This concludes our presentation. Happy Dia de los Muertos, everyone. Think about it. What do you guys think? What do you want to celebrate this holiday? Put this video, pause this video and discuss as a class in five, four, four, three, three two, two, one. And we're back. Day of Remembrance. It's a pretty cool holiday. I love, I love that it's a way to remember those who we lost and miss. What's new at Bethune? Now let's find out what else is going on at Bethune this week. Election day. Election day is tomorrow, November 2nd. We will all have virtual school. You will work from home on your computers, log on to Schoology at 7.35 a.m. and join your class. Parent teacher conferences. On Wednesday, November 3rd, everyone will get out of school at 11 a.m. Parent conferences will be held from 12 o'clock from 11 to 12 and 12.40 to four o'clock. Your teachers can't wait to speak with your families. The Metro Health Bus. The Metro Health Bus will be at Bethune on Wednesday this week. We are excited for our kids who get to visit the bus and see the nurses. YMCA. Don't you just wish you could hang out with your friends at Bethune a little bit longer each day? Yes. Pretty soon you can. All students in K through eight are invited to sign up for after school programming at Bethune with the YMCA. You'll be able to enjoy a snack, get homework, and participate in sports and other activities. Forms are coming out this week. Sign up. YMCA. What if I'm already in after school class with art, PE, or music? Don't worry. You can still participate after your class ends.
And and now an important announcement from Miss Nakanachni. I thought it would be fun to have a little bit of a sing along. You want guys want to sing with me? Sure. sure. Okay, it's a really good song. You ready? Yeah. It's called Santa Claus is Coming to Town. What? You better watch That's out. That. You better not cry. You better not pout. I'm telling you why. Santa Claus is coming to town. Okay, my favorite part of that line, he knows if you've been bad or good. Isn't it kind of cool how Santa like knows what's going on in your life? It's a little it's creepy. creepy. Okay, it might be a little bit creepy. I agree with you. Well, Ms. Bruce and I are kind of like Santa Claus. When it comes to your chat conversations on your school computers, Miss Bruce and I are like Santa. You may not be telling us what you're writing, but we get the messages. We see them. We know what you're saying. Oh, whoa. Do you want us to know? Everyone has secrets they don't want their principals to know. You have secrets you want to keep from me? Uh, uh, that's no what comment. I thought. No you have things you don't want us to know. Don't write it in a school chat on the school computer because we're going to see it. Oh, Ooh. man. Teams chats. Also, we want you to know you can receive consequences, even suspensions, because you're using the chat feature during class or writing inappropriate things, even if it's being written when you're at home. My suggestion, stay away from the Teams chat on your computers. As far as you can. You want to sing again? Yeah. yeah. Oh, really? Okay. You better watch, watch out. You, you better, better not cry. You better not pout. I'm telling you why. Santa Claus is coming to town. To town. This week's superstars. Shout out to Miss Hall. She's been creative and coming up with fun games during recess. We appreciate you. Shout out to Antonio Jones. He is showing improved class behavior. Your teachers are proud of you. Shout out to Miss Woolley for the awesome eagle display on the second floor. We love it. Shout, Shout out, out to, to Miss Artis for, for being, being an, an awesome, awesome support, support at Bethune. Bethune. Shout out to kindergarten Desire Herndon for being, for being kind and helpful. You're great. Shout out to fifth grader Jaylian Dixon for working and playing well with others. Next week's superstars. As always, if you have anyone you think we should recognize during next week's morning meeting, write down your ideas and give them to Miss Nakanachni. Or us. Or us. And, and now, now, the moment you've, you've all been, been waiting for. Jokes with Giovanni. Why don't eggs tell jokes? I don't know. You tell me. They'd crack each other up. <laughs> uh, well, that's it for this week. Bye. Bye. See you later, sweet potato. This is Denaria. And Giovanni saying, saying peace, peace out. out.